Right, so today we're going to drop into the colour page for a rare visit. And what I want to do is replace this little white patch here on the t-shirt with a logo. Quite simple to do. So taking the clip here, come across to the colour page. And the first thing I want to do is find the surface tracker. What we're going to do is add that in here. Now what I want to do is add some points. There we go. We click on the mesh to zoom in here. See we've got a number of points we can add or reduce the number of points and also the spacing. Make sure we've got a decent track. Click on the track and then go forwards and backwards. Okay, now we've got the track done and depending upon the length of the clip that might take some time. So while you're just practicing it might be worth taking a short clip like this and having a play around. There we go, we clicked on the result and now we can see that this is the area that's been tracked. Now what we want to do is to bring in the replacement logo. So over here I've got a little PNG, another one here which we'll swap out later. And now what I want to do is attach this logo here to the surface tracker. Make sure we just bring everything. Let's have a look. We'll go to the overlay placement, set to current. Then we've got this little grid here. What I want to do is now position that logo so it looks reasonably natural. So depending on what you've got to bring in, this might take a little bit of finessing. There we go. Just changed it there. And we've got our new logo in a, there. There we go. It's fully tracked. But it's still looking quite garish. So what we're going to do is come down here to the compositing and I click on the screen, the logo now looks a bit more natural, but we've still got the original logo showing. So what I want to do is get rid of that. So come across here to the first node. Let's add another node. There we go. And let's just turn this one off. So what I want to do now is track this. So make sure we've got our open effects overlay on. Then we come down here and click on this little plus icon. And that we've got the effects selected here. So let's just drag this. Might be worth zooming in a bit. So we can see where we're going to place. Now you can place many of these or just one, but uh, I've had a quick play around and this seems to work quite well for this demo. But if you are having to do this on say a large logo, it might be worth putting another couple of points. And then what I want to do is I want to track backwards and forwards. So. We've got a little track done. You may find you might need to add some more points depending upon the complexity of what you're trying to track. Click on the track forwards and backwards. Quick scrub through to see how well it's done. Stuck on quite well. Now what we want to do is take our patch replacer, add that to the node, and we're going to replace 
this area with this area. We talked about the patch replacer in a previous video. So let's see if this tracks. There we go. Tracks quite nicely. So now what we're going to do is turn this node back on. We'll turn off our overlay. And there we have our logo replacement. As I said, we can come into compositing, maybe dial that down slightly. So it looks too obvious. Something we can actually see, turn the opacity down. But it's done a fairly good job. So I said we brought in this other PNG here. So let me just disconnect this one and connect up a little arrow. Not too bad. There we go, we've just replaced the arrow. Now, if you see some obvious signs around here of the edge, which is creeping in slightly, this would be the time to play with the patch replacer to see what we can do. I want to dial down, oh, sorry, you might want to dial up the variability very slightly. Look at blurring the edges, don't want to take it too far, otherwise as you can see the original patch comes through and there you have it. You've taken the white patch from the t-shirt, hidden it with the patch replacer, tracked it with the surface tracker to give it some movement and then replaced it with the logo that you want and quite easy to switch things in and out. So I hope someone found this useful. It's worth having a quick play with it. I've also put a link to the patch replacer video I did a couple of weeks ago. If you're interested in having a quick look at that. And I hope someone found this of use.